Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to cover the project management pages in T4D Web. Um, we're going to cover how to create, edit, and delete a project. Just as a little bit of background information, um, a project is a configuration of sensors, charts, and other custom reporting features in T4D Web. Um, a project in T4D Web is a lot like a configuration in T4D Control Server. If you're not familiar with configurations, you can go watch our video on saving configurations master setups. Let's start first by opening T4D Web. Uh, T4D Web runs as a web application, so we'll access it through a web browser. The default URL is localhost slash T4D Web, and when we go there, it'll direct us to the login pages. Uh, today we're going to be using the admin login. Uh, the default password for the admin account is admin with a capital A, uh, and I recommend when you sign in for the first time to definitely change that password. So we'll sign in here. When you first go to T4D Web, it'll take us to the home page. Uh, the home page will give us access to all of the different web pages. Uh, today, we're just going to be going through the project management pages. Uh, you can see in the project drop down menu in the uh, upper bar of T4D Web that we have two projects going on right now. Uh, we have Roof and Roof GNSS. To change project view at any time, you can just come to the drop down menu and select another project, and it'll load that home page. To go to the admin pages, all we're going to have to do is click on the three ellipses next to the drop down menu, and that'll open a new tab. Make sure your browser can allow, or your browser is set to allow pop-ups, because if it's blocking the pop-up, it won't open this new tab. To create a new project, it's pretty simple. All we're going to do is click on the green Add Project icon right here. Any project in T4D Web will use the coordinate system from T4D Server. We have a video on coordinate system management that I recommend watching for more information. We'll give the project a new name, in this case, New Project, and a quick description, something like a new project for the T4D web videos. Uh, once we have a name and a description, we can choose the time zone. Uh, in this case, I'm based in Denver, so I'm gonna be using uh, Mountain Time for US and Canada. Next, we can go to the unit preferences. Because uh, we're based in the US, I'm gonna be using empirical today, so US survey foot, uh, degrees Fahrenheit, and feet per second. And I can hit save to create the new project. Once the project is created, it shows up in the project listing page. You can see right here, new project. Um, and let's say, for example, we want to edit the project because I want to switch from empirical units to metric units. All I'm going to have to do is click on the edit icon right here. That'll open up the same screen we just saw. I can go to the unit preferences page and change everything to metric. So go to meter, degrees Celsius, and meters per second. And all we'll do is hit save, and that will update the project. Just in case I want to delete a project, um, all I'll have to do is click on the red X icon right here. Uh, when you delete a project, really make sure you want to delete it because you can't undo that action. So it's going to prompt you to delete. Am I really sure? Yes, I'm really sure. And that will delete the project. That concludes our video on project management in T4D Web. A good video to watch next is our video on sensor management. 